some of you may have noticed that when you land aircraft such as the F-16, there's this sort of back to front with the stick. So let's get my controls on the screen there and we're coming into land. Ba dum ba dum, bit rough. And so here we are rolling down the center line. I've just used my rudder just a bit to keep it on. And there we go. Now I'm not going to use rudder. And if we look, we're starting to drift to the right. Now, if I move my stick to the left, see, it actually moves even more to the right. And if I move my stick over to the right, see, the aircraft tries uh, to move back to the left, so on and so forth. So why is this happening back to front? What's going on here? Well, this is actually really easy to figure out if we view from the F2 view. And if we zoom in there, I'll just do away with the air brakes. When I move my stick to the left, this is what happens. When I move my stick to the right, that's what happens. So having paused the video and cutting in, here we have the stick to the right. And if we look at the aircraft while the stick's over to the right, the flap or the flapper on on the left hand side of the aircraft is pointing down and is actually sticking out into the airflow. And this is what we'd expect because this flapper on here in normal circumstances will push the airflow down on the left hand side wing and with Newton's equal and opposite reaction and so forth, if it's pushing the airflow down, the wing in turn will be pushed up. However, this also creates drag and that's why the aircraft is skewing round to the left even though the stick is moved to the right and this becomes a lot more obvious if we view this from the top down same as before we've got the stick over to the right a little drawing of the stick there we go the sticks over to the right hand side and what ends up happening is we're creating a drag on this side of the aircraft that is disproportional to the drag on this side so maybe if i try and visually represent how much drag there is on that side of the aircraft versus this side as we travel down this direction along the runway. This increased drag on the left ends up skewing us actually over this direction. That's what happens. And obviously if we move the stick over to the other side, the flight control surfaces go vice versa and we end up skewing off this side of the runway. And so that's why it's really important to use cross controls, especially in crosswinds in an aircraft like the F-16, where the rudder authority is very limited at certain speeds. And for those maybe new to cross controls or crosswinds, let's assume that we've got a crosswind blowing from the right hand side. When landing, you would absolutely have to have these are the rudder pedals. You would have to have your left rudder pedal pressed in in order to stop the nose weather veining into the wind towards the right but at the same time you would also have your stick pushed over there's the uh the your, your stick there you'd actually have your stick facing into the wind but the rudder pedals the left one in pushing away and again these don't match up they are crossed over and hence the term there cross controls Coming to the end of the video now, appreciate very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something and on screen showing a couple of comments that have been nice recently, the kind of comments that keep me going, the kind of comments that I'd like to see, perhaps you could leave me one if you enjoyed this one and maybe I'll pick it for the next video, so until next time, take care, have a good one and wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night.